Tennis scoring can be confusing for new players, so here's my crash course. First let's talk about the court. Tennis courts consist of three main sections. The service boxes, no man's land, and the doubles alley. The service boxes are where you must aim when serving. No man's land is the area between the service line and the baseline. It is referred to as no man's land because when you are in it, it is difficult to return the ball since you are too far back to volley at the net. And it is too far forward to hit a ground stroke. The doubles alley are the two extra sections on the left and right of the court. This space is only used in doubles matches. In singles, that space is removed. Now let's start a match. To decide who serves first, we spin a racket. This is just like flipping a coin. We use the logo on the handle to determine heads or tails. Winner decides who serves. You get two chances to serve. You always start a point by serving on the right side into the diagonal service box. Then you switch corners for each point. You always serve behind the baseline. If you step past the baseline before you hit the ball, it is considered a foot fault. In doubles, you serve in the corner near the single sideline. In singles, you typically serve next to the center line since you will be in control of the whole court. Now let's talk about scoring. There are three layers to scoring in an overall tennis match. Points, games, and sets. Each time you start a point, you say the score before serving. At the beginning, this is 0 to 0, love all. 0 to 0 being the amount of games won. And love all, referring to the amount of points won. Love all? You ask, that seems excessive. In tennis, love means 0, no points. The assumed origin of this term is the expression to play for love. Since a lack of points can relate to a lack of competition. After that, 1 point is 15, 2 is 30, 3 is 40, and 4 is match point. When the score is tied, we say, all. If the score is tied 40 to 40, it's game point for both sides so we call it, deuce. That leads to game points. These are scored with numbers such as 1, 2, 3, and so on. When the score equals an odd number such as 0 to 1, 2 to 3, 0 to 5, etc. The team switch sides and servers. The number of games played is called a, set. Regular sets are first team to 6 game points. Pro sets are 8 game points. There are two ways to play out tennis sets. Advantage games are tiebreak games. Advantage means win by 2. If the game reaches 5 all, you continue playing until the winner is 2 points ahead. If you are playing tiebreak sets, it's a bit more complicated. If the score reaches 5 all, one team must win the next 2 points to win the set. If the score reaches 6 all, you must play a tiebreak game. The goal of a tiebreak game is to be the first to 7 points, switching sides every time the score equals 6 points. This also includes a win by 2 rule so these can often last a long time. A typical tennis match consists of 3 sets. The winner of 2 out of 3 wins the match. And now you know how tennis works.